this is something I think people should be worried about, but it's also something that's hard to get people worried about because most people say, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. Canadians have gotten used to data collection as a part of modern life. Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, even your phone is keeping tabs on who you are where you're going and what you're buying. But Canada's privacy commissioner finds at least one other entity is keeping tabs on us with technology, the RCMP. It doesn't mean I'm doing something wrong, but if I know I'm being watched, maybe I'm less likely to attend a protest, to speak my mind to a political party, to uh, get health care, go to a clinic, uh, maybe live my life. We are different people under observation than we are if we think we, we have some sense of obscurity. A recent report from the Privacy Commissioner finds Mounties were using Clearview AI, an American facial recognition software. The software pulls your photos from Facebook and Instagram, then puts them into a database that Clearview customers can search. In addition to privacy concerns, independent studies of facial recognition find it can return false matches. It's the number of authors who've done tests, uh, and they said people of color, uh, don't, uh, are frequently, more frequently misidentified by some of this facial recognition technology. So it means everyone is equally misidentified. Private companies are not subject to the same robust human rights protocols that police services and governments are obliged to follow. Uh, not only are they not uh, subject to those laws, they're also not trained and experienced in applying those laws. The RCMP first denied using the technology, but admitted to it after Clearview's client list was hacked last year. The RCMP accepted the Privacy Commissioner's recommendations, but disagreed with the finding that Mounties broke Canadian privacy laws by using technology built with stolen data. The existing legal oversight system in Canada that's intended to protect against rights violations by uh, policing activities is also not adequately equipped to respond to uh, what I'll call delegated forms of surveillance from a police agency to a, a private sector actor. And so this is a, a, an important and, and uh, increasingly important uh, question that the justice system has not yet had a, a chance to adequately uh, and systemically answer. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.